Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 519. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 516 to 523. Hey, we have a fun video here. We want to figure out what the difference is between the function replace and substitute. Hey, here's what replace does. We say, hey, go find the word rad, start at the first character, and from that move to, and please put this in. So rad becomes shred because it goes 1, 2, it finds the RA, replaces it with this, which becomes shred. Substitute. So replace, um, you say starting position and how many characters. Substitute similar except for you say here's the word you want to look at and please go find a particular text string here and replace it with this. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Equals replace. The old text, oh, that's the word rad. The starting position is 1. And from that starting position, how many number of characters do you want to go in? 2. And what is it that we want to replace? Um, S, if only I could uh, sh. So sh, shre, and then like that. All right, and so it goes and finds the RA because one character, two characters in, and replaces it with shred. Now substitute equals substitute. We're going to say uh, the text right here, the old text is RA, and the new text, new text, whoops, I put a greater than symbol, the new text is uh, this Right? And we could do number, uh, well, we'll do that in a second. And then, of course, it's going to find the RA and replace it with that. Now, there are some great uses for both of these. We'll, uh, and just subtle differences, but there's sometimes where one is perfect and the other one is not. Um, let's look at a, a use for replace. The, we have the first and last name, and we would like to just extract the last name. And the pattern we're going to recognize is, let's just say we know that there's a single space there. So you say replace. The old text right here, the starting position will be 1 because we want to get this last. I'm going to start there. I'm going to go in how many? Find. Oops, I'm going to do search. Our next video is the difference between search and find. Search can find a particular character and say what position in uh, the text string it is. So the text I want to find is uh, double quote, space, double quote, within what? this text string right here. Right now, that'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th, the 6th character. So what is replace? We say start at 1, go into the number of characters are 6. And what do we want to replace it with? The new text is nothing. Just double quote, double quote, close parentheses. So there, we're using replace. A great use for substitute is counting spaces. Well, what if we took equals substitute? And we said, uh, here's the old text, comma, and the new text is double quote, I'm sorry, the old text is double quote, space, double quote, and I'm going to find that and I want to replace it with double quote, double quote, which is nothing, right? So in essence, what this does is it gives me that exact text string without any of the spaces. So now, what's the length of that? How many characters there are is what length does. Oh, 21. Well, now we can just take the length of this, which is going to be you know, with all the spaces. This one's without. And boom, we've counted the spaces. Now, how about replacing? We have um, a SKU number of some sort or some identification number. And this is from a different system. Our system uses da um, not little dashes like this, but slashes. So I'm going to use take someone else's ID number and convert it to R. So equals substitute. I'm going to say the text. The text I'm looking for, the old text is double quote dash, double quote. And let's say that our system requires double quote, a space, a slash, and a space, or whatever it is, right? We're just going to find all the dashes from the other system and convert it to our particular notation. Close parentheses. So now it's gone through and it replaced them all. Now, replace, uh, well, so that's just replacing. But what about inserting? We want to insert um, some text. Let's say this is a skew and ours really should be exactly like this. 
but ours always has TTT here or whatever it is. So look, we need to keep it exactly the same, but insert TTT dash. Well, the replace function can do that when, um, and here's how you do it, replace. Well, where's the old text? Boom, right there. The starting number, we want to find just this dash right here. So we'll do search and uh, double quote, dash, double quote within this text right here. Now, what this search will do is it'll give us the uh, position. So I'm going to hit F. 9, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But really, I want to keep that dash. So I'm going to Control Z. I'm going to add 1. Right. So now I'm at this 9. That's the starting position. But to insert text, comma, 0. Don't go any characters. I just absolutely love that. And what's the new text? Comma, double quote, TTT dash, close parentheses. So this is insert, and the key is that zero, right? So when you get to number of characters, zero. Now this is a straightforward example of how to use replace to insert text. Let's see, what did I? Uh... No uh, close parentheses there. Control Enter. So I can double click and send this down, and so I put TT wherever. Uh, there was this first dash of inserted something. Now let's do a more complicated one. Let's say our goal, and we can actually use the first part of this uh, formula right here. right? So I'm going to copy this. Let's say it's not the same, t, 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 t. Well, it could be, but now we need to find the opening prefix and insert a certain word. So this is going to be some sort of lookup, right? Because we can use this. Right? But what in the world, so for the, the new text, we're going to have to take the first four characters of this and do some sort of lookup. OK, well, let's use VLOOKUP. We're going to run into a few problems, and then we'll see if we can get out of, figure out how to deal with them. VLOOKUP. Well, first off, looking up this. Well, we can't look up the whole value. We just need the first four characters. So we'll use left of this, comma, 4. All right, now what does any left, right, mid, what do any of those functions do? Well, let's F9 it and evaluate. Notice that that number is in quotes. They always spit out text. Uh, Control Z. Well, if V lookup right here, the lookup value, we see that it's extracted that, but it's text. If VLOOKUP goes down here and tries to match these, these are numbers you can see because they're aligned to the right, it will not find 8330 as text when it compares it to a number. Well, there's an easy fix for that. That's problem number one. We can just add 0. Adding 0 will convert it, and you can go ahead and highlight this and hit the F9 key and see now there's no longer quotes around it. It is considered a number. Control Z. OK, so now we have our lookup value, comma, the lookup table. Well, it'll just be this. And I'm going to hit the F9 key. I'm sorry, F4 key boop, to lock that table. Column 1, column 2 has the value to return to our insert, in essence, or to return to the formula. Comma, I have this uh, sorted numerically so we could we can technically leave this out but if you wanted to look up an exact match you could put zero so I'm gonna leave it out because ours is sorted All right. now that's the V lookup let's just go ahead and highlight this hit the F9 key oh Timo is that uh, that's almost what we want control Z to that we need to because we need a dash our goal is to have like this ttt dash it needs to be whatever the lookup value is dash so then we have to ampersand on the v lookup well let's just finish this that's the new text close parentheses control enter double click and send it down you can see it's working it's inserting from our lookup hit f2 we're missing a piece so we just need to come to the end of the v lookup right there and ampersand a dash double quote dash double quote right and so it joins it and now we get we have inserted 
whatever our lookup value from this is. So the cool, I love that insert trick with uh, the number of characters uh, to move from that starting position. Zero is insert. Uh, one last thing about uh, uh, substitute we can tell it which instance to uh, look at. So uh, we're going to come down here. We're going to say uh, rad rad. And now under substitute, I'm going to go equal sub. The text to look at is this, comma, the old text is in quotes, rad. That is the old text. The new text is going to be double quote dash shred. And then the instance, we want to find the second occurrence of uh, rad. So here it's, it's rad rad. Now we want it to say rad shred. So we'll skip over the first uh, rad and find the second one and replace it. So when I control enter, boom. So uh, substitute also has this uh, instant uh, number as one of its arguments, whereas the replace uh, has old text, number of characters, uh, number of positions to move from that, and uh, the new text. All right, we'll see you next trick.